Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 014 underscore DIAB underscore M. You can also download this file from the website. Go to the click the file tab and avoid the mouse cursor to save as select project. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 015 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Today we're going to copy this garage and move it down to separate the two floors. Now go to the front elevation and zoom in close into this area. Change this value to minus 600 and click OK. Now click the X button on the top right corner of the window to close this view. Select this floor. Go to the clipboard panel and select copy. Click the down arrow and select align to selected level. Select the top of foundation wall and click OK. Click the edit button. Go to the ground floor plan. Click and select all of this sketch line and hit delete on your keyboard. Click and select this sketch line and hit delete on your keyboard. Click the pick line button. Click the face of this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line, this sketch line to trim it. This sketch line and this sketch line. This sketch line and this sketch line. Click the modify button. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Now select this wall. Hold down the control key and select this wall. This wall. This wall. This wall. This wall. This wall. This wall and this wall. Change the base constraint to top of foundation and move the mouse cursor. Wall move at the bottom of this floor. Now select this floor and click edit boundary. Go to the ground floor plan. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line and this sketch line. Select the pick line button. Pick this face. Pick this face and pick this face. Click the trim extend to corner. Select and trim this line. Click on join. Select and trim this line. Click the modify button. Select this sketch line and hit delete. Select this sketch line. Hit delete. Avoid your mouse cursor and press the tab key. Click to select and hit delete on your keyboard. Now select this line and hit delete. Select the trim extend to corner. Click this sketch line and this sketch line. Clean the, click the green check mark to complete the command. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Now select this wall. Hold down the control key. Select this wall and this wall. Change the base constraint to TO foundation wall, the top of the foundation. To move this wall down. Now select this door. This door and this door. Change the base constraint to top of the foundation. To move this door down. Click to place the door. Go to the ground floor plan. Click the split element command. Click on this area. Click the trim extend to corner and trim extend this wall. Click the split command again. Select the trim extend. Click. Select this wall and this wall. Now go to the geometry panel and click the joint wall command. Click into this area and change this to mitre. Click on this area and change it to mitre. Click on this area and change it to mitre. Click the modify button. Hover the mouse cursor and press the tab key. Click to select the wall. 
change the base constraint to top of foundation. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Now hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button. As you can see, the bottom part of this between the garage and the other floor is being closed. Click the X button to close this view. Now select the extend single element. Click the face of this wall and extend this wall. Click the face of this wall and extend this wall. Click the modify button to end the command. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. Click the zoom to fit command. Go to the quick access tool and click the save command. We're going to end this video at this point. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.